Hey guys, today in SAO Integral Factor, we are going to test the two weapon proficiency skills on axe weapon that will reduce the damage dealt on the players. This will enable us to tank the damage more from the fight. And this damage are Congo, which is the last weapon proficiency skill on axe, and the axe blue, which we can unlock quite early with release crystal S. But before we begin, please like, share, and subscribe for more SAO Integral Factor content. Let's take a look at Congo skill first, which says that if damage is greater than 10% of your max HP, the damage above is minus 30%, which is it will be minus 75% on max level. So on these examples, I, I actually turn off the Congo skills, and I'm going to test it against the Black Evil Spirit level 90 to see what's the damage dealt on the players before I apply my Congo skills. So on here I'm just going to let the enemy damage and this first hit there is the one that I'm going to test actually. So as you see there it was doing around uh, what 13,900 it's close to 14,000 and as I was testing this one I noticed something that the enemy actually dealt only two kind of damage like the focus attack one is going to do higher damage and then like the normal one usually deal around like lower one which is around nine thousands almost ten thousand damage so uh, going back to the weapons proficiency skills here I'm going to turn it on now and we're going to fight the same pause again to see what the damage is like after I use the Congo skill. Just going to wait for the loading screen a little bit. And comes back to the Black Evil Spirit again. And use the same move. And as you notice here, the damage now is 11,636. Which I thought originally it would reduce the damage by 30%, but it doesn't seem like it's reducing the damage by 30%, because 30% 30 of 14,000 is 4,200, and the damage that we're, we're reduced by now is only by 2,364. So what happened there? Uh, the, if you notice on the script description, the uh, skill descriptions, if damage is greater than 10% of your HP, damage above is reduced by 30%. So the important part there is the damage above, which refers to the greater than 10% of your max HP in the situations. So I'm going to give some illustrations on what really is happening in there. So our damage before Congo skills before was 14,000 damage. So for example, it's looking like that. And our HP at that time was 75,000, so which means that 10% of the HP is 7,500, which if we reduce the damage by that, it means that the remaining uh, of the damage that's greater than 10% is 6,500. So that red part there is actually what really is being mitigated by 30%, which amounted to 1,950. Which means that the total damage taken is the 10% of the HP there, plus the remaining of the damage, which is 4,550. It totals up to 12,050, which is very close to what we see in there. So we still take the amounted uh, the damage amounted by 10% and the remaining of the damage is being mitigated by 30%. So I got other people with max level Congo during the time that they introduced level 120 boss and the damage calculation adds up to what I see in there. So I want to say thank you a special thank you to Final Destiny from the Immortal for sharing the results with me as well. And uh, now it means that the less HP we have, the more damage is being mitigated. So in this situation, so I'm going to test it with the low HP. Uh, my HP now is only 19,724. And we're going to go to turn off the Congo skill again. And at this time, actually, I'm going to test it against a different enemy. Because I already used up my quota for... The chaos boss, the chaos boss. Um, so this time we're using the solo chaos boss instead, and this is the move that we're going to look at. So it's doing a seventeen thousands 
uh, damage or more than 17,000 damage on the on my player right now and I'm going to turn on the Congo skill again and I keep on picking up a uh, wrong boss to fight on because this Congo skill is based on HP and if you know that the elf uh, boss has a skill that reduces the uh, percentage of HP and on this one the bad uh, thing about it is that this boss actually have a skill that increase uh, the boss attack which, made, which makes the test a bit harder to uh, get the good results of so this attack will give the boss an attack buff but hopefully it doesn't affect our calculation as much and it's dealing 13,384 if we apply our little formula there the total is going to be 12,890 which is pretty close to what we got in there and what it means is that the damage is being mitigated is 4 to 5,000 damage compared to only two to three thousand damage before when we have a higher HP. Okay, so uh, next we're going to look into the other uh, damage mitigations, weapon proficiency skill. So in this case, I'm turning off my Congo again to see how much damage does the axe blow here is mitigating to our players. So it's just saying that the damage caused to the player is reduced by twenty five percent for four seconds. So, uh, yeah, as usual, I'm just going to let the boss do a damage with their skills. In this case, I'm setting my HP back up to 75,000 while I'm collecting the switch gauge. So that skill is doing 16,000 damage on me now. That's also because I have a higher defense. So the boss is getting ready to use the move and I use the switch and the damage now is 11,292 and if we reduce 75% from the previous one it accounted to that 12,000 damage which is pretty similar and we're going to try it on a different move so that one is doing a 13,000 damage and gonna wait for the boss to use the same move again oh there we go so you use the switch and the damage now is 9,900 which is pretty similar to when we reduced the previous damage by 25%. Okay, so uh, what happened now if we use the Congo and the Axe Blow skills at the same time? Uh, because... Oh. And let's take a look and see. I'm going to fight the same boss again and just fill up my switch gauge and waiting for the boss to use the right move, um, which is the one that we see before. Okay, so this is the move. It's doing 14,200 uh, with the Congo. And here I'm using Switch with the same move again, but it's still doing the same damage. It's because I was not using it at the right time. So this is the difficulty of using these skills because you have to time your uh, Switch appropriately. Otherwise you will not see the damage mitigations. Okay, so fast forward and just wait for Evos to use this move again. There we go. I use the switch and it's damage the damage is twelve thousand one hundred and fifty-three. Which is uh, quite surprising actually. Since the damage is pretty similar when as with when we don't use Congo skill. So we're just going to take a look into this boss using the same skill again and what the damage is on our player. It's fourteen thousands. And this time it's doing twelve thousands. So it might just be the damage variations, or maybe I didn't time it properly. So the damage variation is making it difficult to test it properly, but we are going to use the base uh, attack as if their damage is doing 14,000 damage on us. So I have my switch prepared again, just waiting for the boss to use the right move. And... I got the boss to use the same move when my barrier was up there and it's doing 11,658 damage. So what I believe this skill is doing is that it's actually doing the damage, this 25% damage mitigations first against the um, damage without the Congo 
and then it applies the Congo, which will add up to the formula I have in there. And the other nice thing about this skill is that it gives a barrier for 4 seconds, which means that we will be able to tank a multi-hit attack, just like what this Reaper is doing. It is Reaper is doing 5 hits, which amounted to 45,500 damage on me. And if I use switch skill on this, we'll be able to tank all of those 5 hits, like in this example. So each one of the Reaper's attack now goes down by almost 2,000, which adds up to 25,224 damage on me now when I use the switch skill. Okay. So that's it for the video today. I hope you enjoy and learn something new. And I will see you next time on the next SAO Integral Factor content. Don't forget to click the like button, share the video, and subscribe to my channel if you find this kind of content useful. So bye now.